And the South is known for their greasy food, barbecue, all the good stuff. But I'm vegan, so I'm just gonna eat this kale. <laughs> When I found out this season was Turf War and we'd be representing the South, I was really excited. Woo! Yeah. Dirty South! Y'all better watch out. Uh, a lot of people get uh, mistaken thinking the South is, you know, just a bunch of ignorant, you know, hillbillies or whatever. Fortunately, I'm here to prove them wrong. I think everyone got really scared today when they seen what I pulled out. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I picked up and kicked everyone's ass. My team brings a lot to the table that the others don't. We're versatile, we look out for each other. We've got Southern hospitality. I sounded so country just now. I'm just trying to bring some attention to, to the bottom of the map, man, and, and let everybody know, like, we got some damn good artists coming out the South. I Great. don't care about them. Like, let them bicker amongst each other. This is, this is South business right here. Oh, it was awesome. I became friends with all my teammates right off the bat. We we're working together to make sure everything's on point, and I feel like we're gonna go really far in the competition together getting to come back. I'm super excited about the Turf War. I've always been the sarcastic prick, so this competition just makes sense for me. I'm prideful about the area that I live in, and I'm glad to be here repping the South. When I was younger, I would draw my own tattoos that I was gonna get when I was of age, and my Caribbean parents said, under no circumstance will you get a tattoo. And at that point, I knew that was probably gonna be my job. <laughs> I was originally going to school for aerospace engineering. I wanted to be a pilot at the time, but my cousin, she was dating a tattoo artist, and he saw my drawing. He's like, oh, you could make some money doing tattoos while I was going to college. And I kind of fell in love with it, ended up getting my degree in art, and I started working in the shop for the last five years. When I was 16 years old, I got my first tattoo, and I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. I feel like I can do this. And we messed around with tattoo machines, and it just led to a career. It started off as uh, just me and a couple friends sitting around in my apartment drinking, and a commercial came on about tattooing. And they looked at me, and they was like, man, you should try it. And I was like, you think so? And from that point on, that's when it just started. I ordered a kit and it came in and from there to now. <laughs> when I slay this competition, it's going to be a slap in everyone's face who doubted me. I don't think Southern fans will support me. I know Southern fans will support me. I have like a saying, um, it's called the six P's. Piss poor preparation promotes piss poor performance. There's very few things that I haven't accomplished yet as a tattoo artist. Uh, winning the title of Ink Master would kind of be like that final notch in the belt for me. People either love me or hate me, but at the end of the day, they're gonna know who I am. Yeehaw! Try and trip me up, I'm gonna make it backfire on you. I'm here to play the game, I'm here to win. I'm going to come guns blazing, hellfire and brimstone, here we go. Ink Master Turf War premieres Tuesday, January 7th at 10 on Paramount Network.